What's up, you guys? Steven here for Out Chef Movie Night to talk to you about physical media, about Blu-rays and 4Ks, and the way we like to buy and own our movies and TV shows. If you're new to the channel and you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. Hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date on what I'm doing, and we can continue this conversation, because that's the whole reason I'm here. It's um, It, it kind of sucks sometimes to be a movie collector in a vacuum. You know, It's great to have other people that love it as much as I do that I can talk to about this, and, and, and that's, you know... I think that's how this, the reason this community is still growing on YouTube and other platforms. I do, however, today want to talk to you about something that's not necessarily physical media and might kind of be a controversial, uh, a controversial place to exist, a controversial opinion, let's say. Um, but it's fine. I accept it. I'm fine with it. This comes up every year, I have my opinion on it, and I always share it, and this year is no exception. And what I'm talking about is the Academy Awards. The Academy Awards are Sunday, as I, the 2022 awards are Sunday as I record this. They're Sunday coming up. And I've seen a lot of activity on the various platforms, on YouTube and uh, TikTok and Instagram, people saying, oh... The Academy Awards are out of touch. They're so out of touch because Spider-Man didn't get nominated for anything but one special effects award. Well, you can say a lot of things about the Academy Awards. You can say they need more diversification. I will agree with you. They are working toward that, um, I think. Um, There has been improvement in the last five years that I've seen, and I hope it will continue in that direction. We'll get more and more diversification in there. Um, but as far as out of touch, my question is, do you know exactly what the Academy Awards are? Because the thing is, because it's on TV, um, and because so much importance is placed upon it within the film industry, uh, viewers, us, tend to take ownership of it. And what I, what I challenge you to remember is the Academy Awards is a peer awards event. In other words, it is for filmmakers by filmmakers, you know? So if we're going to go in to this event that we really have nothing to do with, honestly, and try and tell people how to run their event and say that you're out of touch because you're not doing what us, the people that aren't in your industry, say that you should do, who are you? Who are we to even be able to do that? You know what I mean? Just because it's on TV doesn't mean that they need to pander to us. Growing up, the Academy Awards for me were they were an event that I could watch and learn about some films that I maybe had not seen or been exposed to. Because my family wasn't the family that watched, you know, Academy all the Academy nominated films. You know, we uh, growing up, blo- this blockbuster situation is not new. We watched blockbusters. We watched the big horror movies. We watched, you know. All that stuff, but when the Academy Awards came around, it might they might introduce me to something that I hadn't seen. But we live in a world now where people live in this wall garden, usually a Netflix wall garden or an MCU wall garden, where they don't like to step outside of it. And if if their garden isn't included in the big awards, then they get pissed off and say that it's out of touch. And it's not out of touch, you know. You know, the biggest challenge I have for people on an individual basis when we're talking about Spider-Man, because Spider-Man is a movie I liked. I did like it. Um, Is I would say to them, do you know, can you tell me the name of the director of the Spider-Man movie? And then I would counter with saying, have you heard the name of the director of Dune? Or, Or Belfast or Nightmare Alley? If you've heard of those movies, you've heard of the director. It doesn't just say, you know, Belfast. It'll always say Belfast from the director, from from director Kenneth Branagh, or Denis Villeneuve's Dune. And that is because these are artist-driven films, you know? And this is not an elitism situation. It's just there's different formulas for making movies. And the MCU and the DCEU, honestly, are, are franchises that are made by committee. And I'm not saying that necessarily in a negative way because I've enjoyed a lot of the movies you know I enjoy you know I enjoy the last Spider-Man movie 
and and many others of them. I have the most of the MCU on my shelf behind me, but I understand it's a different situation. You know, Iron Man one was a John Favreau film, and that was kind of the last time this sort of thing happened. You know, they went really formula after that, and and there's necess- there's a necessity for it because of the type of franchises they are trying to build and the interconnectivity of them. With that said, um, other filmmakers don't necessarily recognize those films as, you know, awards worthy, and that's okay. It's okay because that near that billion dollars that Spider Man made at the box office that's its award, and just because we watched it and loved it doesn't mean voters within their own industry should you know pander to us that's not what it's about you should be watching the oscars now to learn about belfast to learn about um nightmare alley uh to learn about i don't know any of these films that maybe you haven't been exposed to that's what i've always done with the with the oscars it just really bites at me when people say oh it's out of touch because spider-man didn't get nominated are you fucking kidding me you kidding me? I, I like Spider Man, but there's nothing innovative in storytelling there, and the, and the 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 special effects are cookie cutter. And you know what would the movie be without the special effects? You know, is it is it a tour de force of acting or directing? Fuck no, no. It's a fun movie for sure. But it's not that. It's not that. Now, you go watch Belfast. There's no special effects in that movie. It's all what's on screen. It's all the actors on screen doing their job. Same with Power of the Dog. I hated Power of the Dog. I did not like it. But I understand. I I kind of understand the nominations. You know? I I don't know why this just bothers me so much. I get so angry about this when I see these sort of, you know, it's it's angry bitterness over your movie didn't get nominated. And I feel like eventually what is going to happen is the Academy Awards are going to be because they're they're so focused on pandering. We've got these new silly awards they're doing. They're so focused on pandering now that they're going to lose their significance. The best possible thing, honestly, that could happen to the Academy Awards is it stops being televised on a major TV network. Show it on IFC or something like that. Because the, the ceremony doesn't matter. It's the awards and the celebration of, of unique works of art. Um, and that's the other thing to remember is, film is films can be judged on technical levels. There are technical things that can be easily judged on the 0 to 10 scale. But the overall impact that it has on a person, that's different. That's like no different than two people looking at a Picasso and trying to figure out, you know, how it impacts them and what it means to them. You know, it's art still. Film is still art. Um, outside of, you know, the, the technical stuff. And, and by technical stuff, I even mean uh, story structure, things like that. Those Those things, I guess, can be judged. But it is art. Uh, okay, so there's my rant there. Now, my other opinion that I know that I'm not going to win on, it is what it is. Um, I will share it, though. Um, and I know part of this comes from being a filmmaker myself, and I have that feeling about this, is there are two important awards ceremonies that happen every year, and one of them is the Oscars. The other is the Emmys. These are the big ones. Now, there's a lot of others below that that are also quite important. The DGAs, the SAG uh, Awards, all that stuff. But you've got the Oscars, which is for cinema, for movies, and the Emmys, which is for TV. So, this is a... I know, you guys are going to call me out on this and it's fine. But the Oscars are a celebration of the cinema experience. Movies that run in the theater offer this huge big screen experience. It doesn't mean blockbuster. It just means big screen experience. Belfast offered a big screen experience that was wonderful. I just can't get behind the idea of movies that stream only being in the Oscars. 
those feel like TV to me. And I watch them and I like them and whatever. I watch movies on different streaming services. They should be Emmy winners, not Oscar winners. Power of the Dog is probably going to win a number of Oscars this year. Um, two things. One, I didn't like it. I just, you know, no hate on you if you did, you know, because it's, like I said, it's an art thing. I thought it was slow and boring. Um, but it, it didn't play in theaters outside of the bare minimum that is required, the two weeks in L.A., two weeks in New York, uh, to be qualified. So to me, that's not a, it doesn't belong. I felt the same about Roma, and that's also a, quite a beautiful movie. It should be in the Emmys. I'm not going to win that battle. I understand. It's fine. But anyway, if you guys want to see me, um, if you want to see my predictions for what's going to win this weekend, let me know and, and do it quick in the comments, and I'll do a video before Sunday uh, with what I think is going to win. And maybe it doesn't matter to you guys that much, and that's cool too. I just had to get this off my chest. I got some great pickups coming this week. I pre-ordered the uh, Hunger Games box set. We'll unbox that together. And a lot of other cool stuff, uh, very specifically physical media. But tell me what you think. Let's keep this conversation going. I'd love to talk to you guys about the Oscars and uh, what your experience with it is. Until next we meet, pull something cool off the shelf, share it with your friends and family, and remind them why physical media is the best way to watch films and TV. I'll see you guys on the next one.